Brian Hallstrom, and uh, I'm leading the Michigan Arthroplasty Registry uh, Collaborative for Quality Improvement, or Marquee. We're going to be looking at hip and knee replacement patients uh, who have their hips replaced or their knees replaced, usually for arthritis. And typically these people have surgery and go through the recovery period and then kind of get on with their lives. Um, and some patients do very well and some don't do as well. And what we'd like to do is track how patients are doing so that we can figure out what's working well and what's not working well, and then uh, try to improve on uh, how we're doing for everybody. Yeah, so our, our registry is different than some of the other registries in that in addition to looking at short-term results and complications and other things that we can do to improve the immediate process around surgery, uh, we also have this long-term goal, which makes it uh, a little more um, difficult to, to do this because we have to set up a system that we can continue forward and continue to track our patients and see how they're doing over years and possibly even decades. Um, and so we're, we're hoping to build a system so that we can do that relatively easily and keep track of how our, how our patients are doing. There's really two ways that the registry can help improve uh, costs and improve safety for patients. One is by finding out and incorporating uh, the best practices for reducing things like infection. We know that an infected joint replacement usually requires at least two operations to fix. We have to take the implants out, treat them with antibiotic spacers and IV antibiotics, and then come back and put in another uh, implant. And that typically costs more than $100,000, that process. So uh, any infections that we can uh, avoid are, are a huge cost savings. In addition, in the long term, as implants wear and if implants fail early, then we have to revise those implants. And a revision or a redo operation typically is much more expensive than the first time around. The implants are more expensive, the hospitalization tends to be longer, the complication rates are higher. So anything we can do to find out which implants are lasting longer and avoiding revisions, or if we catch problems earlier, sometimes you can do a smaller operation to keep that implant working well, change out some part that, that isn't working well or that's wearing. Um, and so there's really two ways in which we can significantly reduce the, the trouble and the, the pain uh, for patients and the, the cost for the health system in general.